the American dream is ultimately to, you know, work hard, build a business, and then at some point either sell said business and retire or pass business on to your kids. You can't do that with a band. And that's something that like, you know, is really hard for people to kind of understand. Again, like you've you've built this pizza shop and you've got this 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 client list of customers that love to come and enjoy your pizza. And but if you're not in the kitchen making the pizza, there is no pizza. Like that's that's the part of it that, you know, I guess you can further understand why, you know, if I had the money the Rolling Stones do, I don't know that I'd still be out there playing Start Me Up at 75 years old. But at the same time, I respect the, why they're doing it because like this is what they do and they're not ready to retire. And the Rolling Stones are worth yeah. arguably yeah. nothing without those guys up there giving you the Rolling Stones. Like, you know, right. it's, uh, it is it is something that a lot of people probably take for granted that like you work, you know, how does a guy in a band retire? Like you have to figure out how to save your money and invest your money. And otherwise you will be doing this shit when you're 65. Yeah. And again, I, I gotta, I gotta ask a follow-up to that though, because there is a band finding a way to do this after they die. And actually I'll pick up the book right here. I know you guys are kiss fans. So <laughs> yeah, what but, do you but think again, about the idea but, of this again, coming back dude, as like, avatars? Like, but it's such a bad example because there's it's such a ridiculously overblown bank account. Like, oh, of course. Like, I, do... I get it. Dope will never come back as avatar. But I'm wondering what you think of it. Do you think it's because there's been so many opinions online about they played their final show and, P and uh, Paul Stanley and Gene Simmons have always been open that they're like, when we're done, we want Kiss to continue as an entity. But I think, I think people I, thought it'd be people, you know, filling in those shoes and no, God. they're going to do it as Avatar. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, who who knows? Who it's knows? Like, Let, let's see. Let's like see virtual Menudo. <laughs> yeah, let's let's see if it works. I mean, I, I think one of the reasons that I am a little bit, um, what's the word, skeptical of whether or not it can work is is because Kiss was was a weird band in the sense that they transcended age groups partially because of the live show like you could bring a 13 year old to a kiss show and because it's so over the top and so outlandish and this and the and the makeup and the sparks and the fire like it's so beyond like sensory it's a, overload it's a spectacle yeah, yeah. That's, that's what it is it's the spectacle. a 13 year old kid may not identify with the music at all but but he but the sensory overload of the show allows him to go like wow that was a really cool experience my 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 apprehension with thinking that the avatars can work into the future is i'm not sure that the music that accompanies those avatars can speak to a younger yeah. generation that's yeah. where i feel mm -hmm. like it's a bit like that's where it's tough because any you know you go find a 16 year old kid who's into whatever they're into and, you know, just play them a kiss song. And they're probably going to be like, eh. I mean, it's not the Beatles, man. Like you can play the Beatles for young people and the Beatles are like timeless Kiss is butt rock. It's kind of cheesy lyrics. It's kind of <laughs> like, and I love it, but I grew up in the seventies. So yeah. I'm just, I'm not sure that the avatars are going to be able to bridge them to a whole new demographic of fans because i think the music is a bit limiting as far as well, oh, its reach do you well sometimes i think it might have the opposite effect though because these kids now i don't maybe they, maybe they, they didn't maybe grow the up where, where guys were, were playing you guys still play i still yeah. want some bands that play instruments where you see a lot maybe, of maybe the spectacle now, of the avatars themselves is, is enough to bring in the generation i with mean these yeah. Damn, yeah with these damn I, things I, again i just i think that i think young people would want to see those crazy yeah, high I mean. high definition avatars wrapped in a sound that more represents that crazy that, gotcha yeah, avatar yeah. you know gotcha. what i mean like yep, and the yep, music man. sounds like it came from the 70s but the avatars look like they're doesn't work crazy yep. modern thing yeah, yeah. and, yeah, I, and I, i'll tell you point. on a much smaller level that is one of the unexpected things that we've seen with static x in the evolution of the zero character to what it is now um you see 
you know, fans bringing their kids or their nieces or nephews to the shows. And maybe again, they get caught up in the spectacle and the lights and, and all that shit. But, um, but they're seeing old dudes on stage, but the, the mask and zero and the cyborg and how that's evolved. You see younger people responding to that differently than they would be responding to a 55 year old man up there singing, push it, which is really, and as I said, let's be honest, I I don't know if it's an Asian thing, but Koichi doesn't look like he's in his fifth. Agreed. Agreed. So, so that's, that's been really cool. And and again, I think kiss gets away with that too. Like you don't really (laughs) see the age of those guys because of the makeup. And, but again, I think, but sonically, I think that, you know, it's, they've never, they've, they've, you know, people fell in love with Kiss because of what it is. It's I, I don't think any of us can say we've heard a modern sounding Kiss song that's going to attract a, a 16 year old kid that's into fucking, you know, Lamb of God or whoever the, you know, kids. I mean, that Lamb of God is forever now, too. But, you know, <laughs> yeah, who, I, that's what I don't even know who would. You could, there's nobody sleep token to seems guys. to be the big yeah there you go there's, there's, there's a great example, example. Yeah. You know? and, and i'm over 50 so i'm still a grouchy fuck i i won't get out of here. <laughs> I, i'm like no i'm not listening to that shit <laughs> no I, but at the end of the day you know i think it's cool <laughs> that kiss is trying to push into the into the digital space and i think that you know as they tweak those avatars they're gonna get cooler and cooler and and it you know there's gonna be something there um it's just i don't see it speaking to new generations of young people sonically but visually do maybe they just turn them into comic book characters and their 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 storylines are as important as the music i could see that Mm -hmm. you know video games and and that kind of shit you know we'll see what happens because it's like they're waiting till 2027 to uh unveil it Um, i I don't think they're waiting till 2027 to unveil it they have like it's gonna take three years of 40 hour work weeks for a team of 10 people to build that show into what ABBA has built. Like, have you seen yeah. the ABBA show? I've heard of, I've heard about it and mm-hmm. how crazy it is and that they built an arena just for that. So but that's yeah. what kiss is going to try to do. At least that's what it appears. And it's going to take mm-hmm. them three years behind the scenes to build that. And I think that just teasing the avatars was just their way of saying, this is what's coming. Don't judge us on this end product. Give us three years to build this and then come see a ridiculous spectacle live event. And I think that will be great, just like it's been great for ABBA. Like, I think if you are able to physically go to that building and witness the the KISS experience as avatars, it probably will be fucking awesome. But watching the KISS avatars on your laptop, I don't know how engaging that's going to be. I agree with that. I think, and I actually think the three year, four year buffer gives people some time to, all right, we just saw the final tour. We'll be able to do, be a part of this new thing. Um, 